What I want to do next is derive the quadratic formula for you, and I'm going to do it using completing the square. Now one of the problems with doing this derivation ahead of time is maybe you haven't had any experience working with the quadratic formula, so maybe you want to save your watching this derivation until after you've had a little experience. The derivation is good if when you're using the quadratic formula you're wondering, for instance, where the 4 came from, why this is a square root, why is it 2a in the denominator. All those kinds of questions are answered with the derivation. Okay, so let's derive the quadratic formula. I'm going to take this quadratic equation right here and I'm going to turn it into this. So I'm going to do that by completing the square. So the first thing I want to do is put the constant term on the other side. So I'm going to have ax squared plus bx is equal to negative c. So I put the constant term on the other side. That's just the addition property of equality. In order for me to complete the square easily, I need 1x squared instead of ax squared. So next, I'm going to divide both sides by a. That's going to give me x squared plus b over ax is equal to negative c over a. So dividing both sides of this equation by a amounts to dividing each term on both sides by a. So when I divide ax squared by a, I get just x squared. When I divide bx by a, I get b over ax, and when I divide c by a, I get c, negative c over a. Now I'm ready to complete the square. I have 1x squared here. I look at my middle term. The coefficient is b over a, so I want to take half of that, which will be b over 2a. Half of b over a is b over 2a. I square that and add it to both sides. So the square of b over 2a is going to be b squared over 4a squared. So I add that to this side, I'm going to add it to this side also, b squared over 4a squared. Okay, that gives me a little arithmetic here to do with uh, fractions. I see I have a least common denominator of 4a squared. I need to multiply numerator and denominator of this fraction by a number that will give me 4a squared in the denominator. So that's going to be 4a over 4a. So 4a times a will be 4a squared, and then I'll be able to add these two fractions. Let's see what that looks like. I'll have c times 4a, which is negative 4ac over 4a squared, plus b squared over 4a squared. And so you can see, if you've used the quadratic formula and you're starting to wonder about some of these things, you can kind of see them start to appear here in the formula. Okay, let's continue. I did this, I added on this b squared over 4a squared, so I could write this as the perfect square x plus b over 2a quantity squared. And that's equal to this. I'm going to change the order of those things. b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Okay, so it's starting to take shape right here. I have this. Now I'm going to use my square root property of equations to take the square root of both sides. When I do that, I'll have x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. Okay, now here I have the square root of this quotient here. I can take the square root of the numerator and the square root of the denominator separately. I've already got my plus or minus out in front, so I can write this as plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac, all divided by not 4a squared, but 2a. Okay, what's left? I want to solve for x, so I'm going to add negative b over 2a to both sides. I end up with x is equal to negative b over 2a, plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. And then if I want, I'll just combine these two since they have the same denominator and write this as negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Did that stay on the screen? Almost. Okay, so that's a 2a in the denominator, but you can see that what I've ended up with is this quadratic formula right here. That's what I was trying to do. Take this quadratic equation, a general quadratic equation, all quadratic equations can be written this way and turn it into this thing right here, which means that anytime you have this, x must be equal to these two things. Negative b plus this square root over 2a and negative b minus this square root over 2a. 
Okay, so that's the derivation of the quadratic formula. If you have any problems with the formula, wondering where the numbers come from, go through this again. Watch this video again and see where these numbers show up. It's not important that you can do this yourself. What's important is that you trust this formula, you memorize it, and then you're able to use it.